How you doing? Okay, that was pretty good. We're keeping that one. We're here to tell you a story, World Bank. We're gonna tell you a little Hurry story. Up. A little baby bedtime story. Hold on. Stop copying Olan. I'm not copying Olan. He's We're telling you the story of a murder train. <laughs> Once upon a time. Don't say that. We were no, no. Once upon a time. Don't say we, that either. I'm saying it. Once upon a time in a magical fairy world. Praise his sister. That wasn't very fairy. Okay, fine. Once upon a time in the terrible world we call this world. Well, way to go. You just put some butternut trash and some wiggity whack over there. Why'd I say that? Once upon a time. Once upon a time. On a magical adventure through the public transport we call the Amtrak train. No, once upon a time through the magical transport of this van's missing its head. Anyway, <laughs> through the public transport. Look at that, it's missing. Oh okay. my gosh. Continue. We are on the Amtrak train. Why? Come because the, the phone was ringing. Exactly. So that's that's exactly why. No, don't answer the phone. It's not someone we know. I'm, I'm was canceling it. That's right, we have. It, smells, it sounds like Christmas. I did that. Yay, you changed the ringtone of a phone. I did. Good job, sweetheart. Don't call me that. So we were on this Amtrak train. It's public yeah, transport. The train. You know, so obviously it's going to be great. We weren't even in business class. We were in coach. So best train sure. ride of your life because you can't afford the plane. Anyway. Yeah, you seem a little upset. Like, bang, no. bang, bang. You best ticket train in a bang, bang, bang. Universe, well, I mean, bang. it was just so great. It smelled like urine when you walked in. And uh, you smelt like urine when you walked out. Now it smelt like urine when you came to the house. But the reason why we are on the Amtrak train, Amtrak. Amtrak. It yeah, was an Amtrak. That's what it was. Nobody knew where to sit because the conductor or whatever they're called, the people who are supposed to tell you where to sit. Wait, is this going or coming? Which one are you telling? Me? The one with the blood. Okay. Now. Well, great. <laughs> Now you spoiled the whole I thing. I didn't spoil squat. Spoiler! No. Spoiler! 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 You soiled it. Now stop. Soiled it. Oh, I'm saying the wrong thing. Yeah. Soiled it. On this train, they finally tell us to sit on a certain car. They didn't tell us which seats, but to sit on the car. We walk in the car. This car smells of death. It smells like and if you were to- And shit in urine. Destruction in you mostly urine. I walked in there and I'm a very quiet person, but I said she just got on the train. Loudly. She was like, ah! No, okay, no. <laughs> I said very loudly in the loudest whisper you could ever hear. He was like, this car smells of urine. Okay, anyway, so I said so, it so I mean, loud. It was so loud. I was sitting right next to her, just reclining on people's seats. Just like, Wow, I can't believe you talked that loud. Anyway, so I'm sitting there. Just so upset because it smells like urine. Just punch everybody a else that doesn't seem to understand how much urine this place smells like. It just smells terrible. It's like if you were to walk into a toilet. Your death. Like no, like if you walked into a toilet. Yeah, I guess a death. Maybe death would smell like that. Maybe death by toilet. How mm -hmm. many? Who do you Elvis think? died on the toilet. Uh, we have to ride on this train for at least ten hours, I believe. Yeah. yeah I ten don't hours know. of constant toilet smell. It was. Hold on, wait. I gotta interrupt you to say something. Shoot him out of now, get off! All right, continue. Let get that out of Of course, one of us has to go to the restroom. Not I, not him, but the mother of the sorts is talking to someone. Oh, so she was talking to them talk. fairly loud. So when she told them, "Oh, one second, I need to go use the throne room," she everybody didn't say heard the throne that. room. Well, that's how I speak. She said the commode, the toilet, the pod, the john, the d -dawn. No, she said the toilet. Well, she was talking to someone fairly loud, and everybody heard she had to go to the bathroom. So, you know, everybody's aware she's in the bathroom. Don't open it. Don't open, open the bathroom. Car. She goes towards the toilet, and obviously it smells ten times worse it than the rest like of the car. It smells like a cop with a thousand bullets. Because that's where it smells coming from. A cop with a thousand bullets. Jeez. No, the toilet. Anyway. Uh -oh. So, I don't know what was wrong with her. I think she might have gone in with her eyes closed. Maybe the it clown was in there and was like, come don't, in. Don't, don't, no, 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 it wasn't. Because I was on that train. No, no, Okay, no. Pennywise was... No! Pennywise took his leave because he heard that somebody didn't like him. She continues in the back and she has to open it. Like, this is a pull open. Like, you really have to pull this thing open. It's not just like a baby could go over there and accidentally wander into the bathroom. You have to get, like, hefty muscle man strength and just... 
yanked the door open. Some people got trapped in the bathroom because of that. Yeah, well, some people. Some people. It wasn't me. No, some people as in our mother. She didn't get, oh, oh. You spoiled it! She just walked in there like a zombie. Just like, oh, this must be a great place to go in to use the bathroom. I can't. I can't either. He was opening it and he left. And when she walked in, well, let's assume the nothing in train it, bumped and the door closed. And that's when her eyeballs opened. That's when she finally realized that the bathroom she was walking into, someone died in. She, wait, hold on, wait. Inside of that bathroom was nothing but blood. You look to the left, it was blood. Look to the right, it was blood. You tried to get out, it was blood. You were trapped. You walked into your own death room, and you were gonna die. The room, apparently, then she grew a nose, and she didn't like it, and she almost wait, what? 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 Yeah. Hold on, what? She's Tabba. in the bathroom. She's dying. We're over here playing games because, you know, that's what we- She's over there dying. Her children don't go to help her. She, okay, she is a sad woman. You could hear how bad it was. You could even hear the- like the toilet was just like, Welcome to your death bed. No, it and wasn't! It wasn't a bed, it was death toilets. The toilet is just cursing this woman here. Like, you're never gonna make it out. You- you trapped yourself. You should have opened your eyes. Maybe you open your nose a little. Smell the terrible when it hit you in the face. But she didn't. And then Santa Claus came and saved her. Yeah, Wonderful, angelic old lady comes by. The old lady opened the door. Uh -huh. And it was just a crack. Just Ooh. enough for the lady in the bathroom to get a whiff of the slightly less urine-smelling oxygen that filled the rest of the cable oh, car. Man. Well, cable car train. You know. She yanks the door open with the only area not covered in blood, which was the side. And then, when she escapes, she screams to the entire cable car. <sighs> she reveals she is once again our mom. She's screaming to the person she was talking to before she left that it was covered in blood. Fake. The toilet, the sink, the walls, the ceiling, the floor, everything. And this lady, somewhere in the cable car, is just like, Why didn't you flush it? Just flush it, flush it. And then, of course, somebody, the guy sitting next to me right here, Rockersy, he was just like, Flush the sink, and he just screamed it at her. See, I went detective on this thing. I start. I got out my junior magnifying glass, and I I went she all got her throughout the junior sink. idiot glass. Got it. No, see, so one of us didn't want a thing to do with this. He's like, if there is a murder, I would rather not be a part of it. Of course, at that exact moment, the lights went out. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. We went through a Go tunnel. Go get the guy who's dying and stop talking. We went through a tunnel. This tunnel made the lights go out in the train. No, Everyone was, was scared. Was people thought people were about to die. It was just a little dark. It was exceptionally dark. I tried to investigate. No, we looked all around. We searched suspects and everything. Everyone's no, like, I didn't. wasn't aware the bathroom was bloody. We go and ask the conductor. The conductor says the one person is missing. We finally get to this one man. This one man who says, Oh, I might know a thing about it. He comes over. Oh, I might know a thing or two. Yeah. Of course, I'm prepared. I got my She's junior prepared. detective fake taser on me. Oh, yeah. The reason it's fake is because it doesn't exist. He says he saw a lady walk out the bathroom with blood I'm covering done. her clothes. I'm done. I'm no, sure no. I'm done. The blood was covering her clothes, uh -huh. soaked in it. She got off at the exit before uh -huh. in Richmond. And Turns out somebody had a very monstrous time of the month. She didn't know how to use a train bathroom and she caused a mess for everyone on the train. Nope. So that entire time you were riding a train that smelled like pee, turned out it smelled like blood oh, no. from pee. Cue the music! I'm telling the truth and nothing but the truth. I would put my hand down in court.